I'm Ed Schweitzer, and uh, I graduated from Purdue with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering in 1968 and a master's in 1971. When I was in high school, I was thinking about where to go to college, and I was talking to my dad about it. And he said, well, your grandfather went to Purdue and graduated in uh, 1898. So for some reason, that piqued a lot of interest. And, and uh, I was thinking, well, my sisters are going to University of Illinois and Northwestern, so Purdue would be a great place to go to school. And I'm so glad I did. First day on campus, a professor asked all of us in Engineering 100, why do you want to be engineers? And I remember writing down, I want to be able to take science, math, and technology, and hopefully put them together and somehow make the world a little bit better place. And Purdue does that for so many young people. Beatrice and I and our company, SEL, are all grateful that Andrea McIntyre has visited us and presented some opportunities for us to be supporting Purdue University with the Power and Energy Systems Group under the guidance and leadership of Professor Steve Pekarik. And we're looking forward to some exciting research results that'll soon, soon thereafter uh, go into uh, products and solutions around the world. SEL is so excited about our relationship with Purdue University that we decided to build a building here right off of Purdue's campus. And we're grateful for the enthusiastic support from the Purdue Research Foundation. We just opened up a 100,000 square foot facility for light manufacturing, engineering services, and research and development. And this will soon be giving opportunities for employment, for internships, for research and development activities. One of the many great things about Purdue University is that uh, it's doing the right thing for students. It's helping them concentrate on the fundamentals, the principles that don't rust, if you will. And then that gives us an opportunity to give uh, folks different kinds of opportunity of employment, internships, where they're working with their hands and their minds, putting those fundamentals to work, seeing those fundamentals come alive. Uh, through uh, creativity, invention, and hard work. So uh, today a young person can come to Purdue, study, have an internship with us, uh, perhaps go on to graduate school uh, and continue his or her studies at the university and even involve a, a dissertation with work being done over here, all without leaving home right here in Indiana, and what a wonderful state this is, a great place to, to live, work, and learn.